The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church for the whole counsel of God. On this 11th day of the month, we continue in 2 Corinthians today. We have the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 6. So let's hear God's word and pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways that we may gain Christ and be found in him not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us light, O Lord, according to your word, and we shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4, verses 1 through 6, the light of the gospel. Therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced disgraceful, underhanded ways. We refuse to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word, but by the open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled only to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. So far the word of the Lord. The essence of Paul's ministry was mercy, was mercy through the Lord Jesus alone. And such mercy compelled him to be straightforward, authentic, and transparent as a servant to God's people. Mercifully ministry, merciful ministry exposes and binds us to the people that we serve. We must never give in to the temptation to think that merciful ministry can be done from afar as a master and not as a servant. The same Lord who has made light shine out of darkness will strengthen our hearts to be courageously transparent servants always. We pray. Thanks be to God who is generously merciful to us. May he prepare us and bind us to those who need such mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We continue in prayer on this 11th day of the month. We pray for all first-year teachers, that they may apply their gifts to demonstrate grace and mercy. We pray that God would give them strength and patience in the days ahead. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. We continue now in prayer. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those who are wounded in body or mind, and those dying and all, now, all those we now name to you in our hearts. As well as Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen and Art, Mary Ann and Jane, George, Brina, Marilyn and Chris. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O oh Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead. <clears throat> he ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.